What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to run off happened last time, we fought a mighty naval battle against the Spanish. However, I was, despite actually capturing all of their ships, um, it was not enough and I did not manage to capture Santisma Trinidad, which is very upsetting. Uh, very, very annoying. Um, but, nevertheless, we must soldier on, which is now why we have Sir John Moore attacking Palma, where the last refuge of the Spanish Catholic Sock, another major faction, out of the game. Then this army, once uh, victorious, will march on to Corsica and secure that island territory for Great Britain. Then they may potentially land at, on Marseille, or in, at, in Marseille. So let's deploy, deploy my guns. These are, about, these are all six pounders. Deploy a six pounder. Let's make, make my center up of Highlanders. Which I think would be a very, very good choice because Highlanders are very good infantry. Damn this weather, sir. Wet powder makes a certainty. Certainly does, but that's why you bring an absolute shitload of them. Sweet. Then let's put my let's put my Scott skirmishes on the flank. Because I want to push up on the right. Which means I'll probably group my cavalry on the right too to exploit any openings. Then put Sir John Moore in the centre. I forgot to check. I keep forgetting. I keep feeling like my guns are longer range than they actually are. I presume they're not just going to be really nice and run at me. In which case then, I shall go and meet them. It's right at the edge of the map. Yeah, it is. Not great positioning for cavalry. I'd be mightily concerned if I was you, Spain. The hope of your entire faction rests on provincial militia, armed citizenry, and a couple of no no units of cavalry. One unit of general staff. Okay, I might even make everyone run. Because some of these guys have a fair bit to go. King's German Legion foot. I'm just going to secure the edge of the tree line. I said run, you swines. Oh well. I'm just going to walk. There's no major rush. Unfortunately, the AI has managed to is, has allowed me to to break out of the uh, corner of the, the edge of the map just a little bit. Oh, I want to see if he'd make a noise. Here we go. Is that a cavalry motoring around at the back. Do you see how fast that little flag was moving? Oh, they're trapped because there's a tree. There you go, they're moving up. 
So my rifle flight looks a bit outnumbered. In which case, this is probably going to happen. Which means my, my bulk of my artillery is not very useful this battle, but it doesn't really matter. Careful of the spikes. Okay, make my guys run so they are going to be tired because we are going to be within range at this point. And then you can unlimber. I don't know, they could try this. If I end up pulling a unit out of the line. I'd get out of the way if I was you, matey, or else you're going to feel very sorry for yourself. Oh god, don't get in the way! Oh, you lucky, lucky, lucky swine. Just keep them out of the way for now. Come on, my Scottish light infantry. Let's keep my dragoons, King's German Legion dragoons out of the way. There we go. Now we've got to start. Now the, now the gunplay begins. Or maybe not. They fell back, but it will begin over here. Let's gun my cavalry, because right now they're they're gonna be they're gonna be cheap fodder for their armed citizenry. There we go. The battle lines have been met. But the militia under a few volleys have routed. Could go for their general, but I want to skirt around the back of their formation. Some men in to secure the town. My light should be enough to skirmish against these armed citizenry. I heard a cavalry charge. I don't want to assassinate the general. I don't, don't want to thread my way through all these cavalry obstacles. So my lights, I can see my, that light infantry moving up. So let's there you go. Assassinate the general. Gotcha. Let's just walk my light infantry over here. Okay. Knackers to the artillery. It's not going to come into it. We have 
killed their general, sir. Now they must break. Got all of the morale's just gone down. There we go, everyone. Okay, run my Scots into position. Yeah, they're winded. You're not going to be happy about it, but hell, it might keep you alive. As these guys are about to walk into the line of fire. Spat that unit's already routing. These guys I can get, they're being shot at by everybody. Send one unit of line out here to help these guys deal with their problems. Aggressively push up and it's halt fire my artillery because I don't trust its trajectory. Run straight through them, ignore them. Look at this, it's like 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 an ambush. We ambush their marching column. Could use my dragoons, but there's really no need. This is just going to be a bit of a slaughter. Absolute carnage. That mass route. Watch out for this that horse stake. You know what I might do? All of them. Everyone in. Because holy hell, look at this. No, stay away from the horsey dead stake. Ah, that square's taken a load of them. Because look, look, so many Spaniards. It's like Talavera. Oh yes, come on cavalry, have at him. It's going to be absolute slaughter. Oh my god. Be right into the middle. Obviously I want to continue. Which one's this? Is the first horse guards, King's German Legion. Dragoons. Victory, 
Just, oh god, it's just absolute carnage. I'm not even gonna. There's literally too many of them to kill. So many. We're gonna take as many as we can, but it still won't be enough. Oh, God alive. That was horrendously. Uh, got him! Just stab, stab, stab. Wow. Uh, maybe not you go. Okay, maybe, where's my general? Run you guys out of the way. Otherwise the general's gonna run at you with his murder face. Yeah, there is one back there, but... They're gonna make it. John Moore's got the gleam of blood in his eye. He's got no I'm pretty sure this unit went from one chevron to three chevrons in one battle without losing without losing a man. Which is pretty stupendous. Eight men. John Moore and his staff are just gonna murder eight fleeing prisoners. <laughs> well eight fleeing troops. Sir, sir, oh, our general well, is I know. Attack. That's kind of the point. There we go. Got him a chevron of experience. Victory! Oh, God. I want to see how much damage they did. So, King's German Legion foot, being very experienced, they killed 857 men with, two, with no losses. That's that, that, they were a part of that massive rout, weren't they? King's German Legion Dragoons, it's probably this guy, seven, yeah it was, one to three, 707 killed. Holy moly, mother of God. But that is... The end of the Spanish Empire in Napoleon Total War. France's main ally has crumbled into the dust. And it is ours. It is ours. And we now have a naval base in the Mediterranean with which to extend our operations into, well, the Med. Perfect. Right, I think we're gonna hit end turn because I need to. I need to save some money to build up some roads to help some help my replenishment and so on and so on and so on. So let's see how the French respond to the loss of their greatest ally. So they've moved on rapidly from Prague eastwards. So they're going to continue the drive. They're not pushing against the Prussians, though. The Prussians, oh, the Prussians are sending armies. Oh, oh, they've taken. Ah, they've taken Hanover. That's not ideal. But I might just march through Hanover then, and threaten another territory. I suppose. It's holding. It's hanging fire for too long. It's going to happen eventually. But you know what? I'm cool with it. I think peaceful mission. Ah, so we are in Bra Prague. So fusiliers and six pounder horse. Trait gained. George the third. We've got another spy in England. Another spy. Don't even want the first spy we've got there anyway. Okay, so you. Good. At least we've not lost anything. Construction of cobbled roads in Spain. Let's build roads. Roads. 
Let's magistrate, enable. Well, encampment might. Line estates. So you're in full strength. Probably because your um, encampment gives you increased rates of uh, replenishment. There you go. Troops being recruited in Scotland. Join the army down here. We're all going to join the army. As are you, the Black Watch. May as well move William Wickham into Robert Crawford's army. So are you recruiting anything? You are. Not anymore, you're not. Let's hop everyone back in. So if I move this army out, will you all freak out? You'll be a bit grumpy, but not excessively so. Let's move on to Bordeaux. You need to stay for a bit more. But I may as well position you here, on the border. Ready to move up. And then Pamplona, or Palma. You need to fix your trading port. And let's get you a magistrate first and foremost. Good. So then, yeah, the job of this navy will be to move on to hit Corsica. And let's recruit a, another merchantman here. Then hop them onto the Algiers Spices region. What have we got here? What's my navy here? Third rate in a frigate. Hop them down to Gibraltar, because I'll probably be more useful in the med. So I could march through and hit... Well, you know what? I may as well. The Prussians are here. I may as well hit Castle. Which has a full French... St <gasps> uh, no. I don't think so. I see all of these guys coming. You are going to fall back. You are going to fall back to your territory. Well, actually, you're, you're going to sit here and help the Prussians. So I presume the Prussians are going to have some problems. Brunswick is like infantry, musketeer. Yeah, you know what? Get within range of Hanover. And then, or if you got here, maybe the Hanoverians would come in and, to protect or to support your bridgehead. That could be quite fun. Until they run out of ammo. So we're all still researching. Researching is all still going well. Cool, cool, cool. Madrid is now growing at a reasonable rate, actually. And my money is going up 16,000 a turn. Good, now about to take Bordeaux. To be honest, I might, when this army's finished, I might land them to take Rennes again, because we've got, we'll have more of a combined front. So this army will go and take Toulouse. This army will go along, capture Corsica, then probably land and take Marseille. Maybe move into Italy. And then these three armies, their job will be to clear out the French, take on Paris and expand through Europe in this way. I think that's my overall plan. Cool. Let's hit enter. It's my spy. Ah, fair enough. Obviously, won't get let me take Bordeaux without without a bit of a scrap. But nevertheless, it's nothing you won't be able to handle. Ah, they've pushed me out of their port. Ooh, they've actually come to attack me. Very well. Suppose it is their territory. Chasseur a cheval. Six, ooh, six, eight, twelve. I'm all six, so I'm gonna have to move up. Some decent infantry. Ish. French. Irish. Irish. Right. Let's fight it. So where's that? Um, it's just whether or not we'll be in a position to attack Bordeaux. I'm pretty sure we will. But they're attacking. Well, they're attacking us. They can afford. Well, they can afford to bombard at a distance because we don't have to move up regardless. Ooh, it's a mucky one inside a city. Could be fun though. So let's take all of my stuff out. So let's take. The trouble, is they might, the trouble is they might blow it up. Like, if I try garrison buildings, I'll just destroy them. So, 
If I put six pounders down, their artillery is in range. Then if I put six pounders on the, ooh, this slight ridge. What's within range? Nothing. We can still engage their 12 pounders with our left hand battery, so I think that's still okay. So let's start to deploy our troops. Probably want to add this many on the right. I'll scatter some. Well, I'll put a, I am going to put a light infantry unit in there. So you're there. You're to deploy. Well, let's. Give my artillery a bit of cover. So that's my right side. So then my left is you. This unit of foot. This unit of foot. And the three units of the line. I think they're a bit too big to garrison this building. We can garrison this, no trouble. They can garrison that, no trouble, probably. Then I might just do a bit of a this here. So, put a light dragoon on the right. Light dragoon on the left, sorry. Light dragoon on the right. General staff in the middle ish. And then what are you? A spare unit of light foot. So yeah, you're the, you're going here. You focus on their twelve pounders. Says a cheval incoming. See so what does barrage actually do? Increase the rate of fire for a short time. Cool. I might actually deploy my line infantry down here. If my harpsers are on that ridge. Get my dragoon. Oh good, the harpsers are getting smashed. Some shots through my own. So what are targeting? I'm targeting this infantry unit. Hopefully they do commit their cavalry. Good route, so I can get my dragoons back, get my infantry back in position. Barrage, barrage. So what's that? Oh, they've they've moved the cavalry back. But I might just move up my. Move up this flank. Because right now they're not doing as much as they could be doing.
You are hitting the town hall, but not causing any damage somehow. Let's move you guys to fill up this gap. Bit out of range. Glorious victories, huh? Is soon to be yours. So let's do a bit of the old switcheroo. He'll be all right. Maybe keep him here. Come on, want you to sit right on the apex of this corner. Once my skirmish is up with my dragoons. Push up aggressively. Let's move up my skirmishes. Keep my dragoons in support. And not get ready to knock out their howitzers. So these fusiliers are doing a, having a bit of the, just a, bit, a few bells knocked out of him. Oh, go on, fire! Good lads. They're in a terrible position to be shot at by them, but I'm hoping my cannons can deal with them. There you go. Let's bring my skirmishes just up to the road here. They'll be in a position to peck at the French artillery. There we go. Chasseurs a cheval inbound. The King's German Legion Dragoon Guards. Oh, they're just going to shoot loads of their own horses. Perfect. So let's bring an infantry unit in, start dismantling their artillery, keep the flank going, uh, retarget your artillery. Let's get some dragoons to charge over the hill. So, hold fire. And once they're past my infantry, oh, I lost a few of them. 
Oh, he went flying. They went flying. He followed them up with a bayonet, bayonet charge. Our men are running to Where? My dragoons. It's fair enough. Well, I say fair enough. There's a lot of cavalry, I'll grant you, but still. There's a limit. Let's go into a position to get a shooting match with their cavalry. Come on, out you stretch. There you go. Come on then, you... Oh, they're pretty looking cavalry. I do like the helmet details. Our men are running for <laughs> was that my, do you reckon that was my artillery back here that shot them? I think it was. Let's see why else they should have ran. Now don't you start shooting them with a musket. Let's deploy you into the column. Ah! They are back. Move up to skirmish their cavalry. Let's get you in to hit the back of the, the rear of their column formation. You are surrounded, matey. Guard dragoons are in. Winning decisively, no less. Give me the other two remaining howitzers, get you to round shot, and then just keep hitting the 17th light horse. Then you hit that unit of fuselage line. Because they're feeling much too smug. Let's see how fast you reload, boys. You know what's coming. Did they oh, he broke their cavalry. Sweet. They want revenge for their guns. Chase down their fuse laser line. It's just the 17th light horse, although I'm, I'm, in my head that's an elite unit of some description. French-Irish Legion. Ha. There's only seven of them. Knock them out. There we 
go. Clear your barrels onto that unit of French Irish Legion. You firing? Should be. Excellent opportunity right there. There we go. General staff, off you go. Dragoon unit, off you go. Into that unit. Let's halt fire you. Let's run you out of the way. And let's continue, because this unit, this army will retreat into Bordeaux. So obviously I don't want them to, to get away with it. you to hit this unit of 12 pounder 8 pounder foot artillery 13 unlucky number Irish Brigade so I'll just run you into them should be just you three or four Four. And then up here, you're chasing away one last unit of infantry. Somewhere around here. There it is. Close to victory. Victory! It's right there. It's France. We've crossed the Pyrenees in record time. We've pushed them back. So now Bordeaux has no garrison. But France is still sparring with the Prussians and is winning. But my spies in Prague. Ooh, ooh. Don't push. Don't push me. Good. Trade? Yes. Let's. Because they're offering. They trade and they offer me a thousand for the privilege. So. Absolutely, why not? All the Prussians are fighting back. The Prussians have taken Prague. Prague. Sound like I said Prague. I didn't mean to if I did. But the Prussians are fighting back. I think it might be because the, uh, the French haven't had, while well, they've been storming along, they haven't had the chance to deliver a knockout blow. Trade unions, you know, everything's got a bit more, a bit less uh, valuable for me to, to have. So I may as well get abolition of slavery to knock down recruitment. So let's go to... Ah, oh, can I not get... Court of Appeals. Oh, I have to go. Oh, right. I see. It's one of these buildings. Yes, let's get work. Get to work on the ordnance board right away. The roads are ongoing. Wellesley is still recovering. You are going to maintain siege. You are going to continue the way you always have been. Bankruptcy should be going down, eventually. And let's give you new roads. Sweet. General available, George Thomas Beresford. Don't know much about you, I'm afraid. Oh, I've still got you recruiting back here. It's got my Highlanders. Yeah, I suspect I'm going to deploy them into northern France. I might just move them into Toulouse to see what's there. They're going to maintain siege. Because while they're only, it's only a unit of light foot that's depleted, some way artillery could do with a bit of time, but I think that would be quite good. Or do I deploy him south? Well, I don't know. If I deploy him here, I can try and knock out these two regions. How about your replenishment? Yeah, you're pretty. You're pretty good. We'll have to send Echo to go have a look at Corsica. Uh, lots of militia, lots of junk. Let's get you back to the back to the fleet. Diplomacy. Yes, only a handful of major nations left, and then indifferent. The Kingdom of Sardinia. Let us trade. Lovely. 
So now my income has rocketed to 17,000 a turn. Not everyone's taking my goods though, which is weird. Normally everyone gets a little bit. But still, quite good progress this turn. But looking at the timer, that's going to be the end of this part. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time.